here's an update video on where I am. Uh, it's finished, I'm pretty sure. I think, well, it, it's it's got basic functionality, like moving and stuff. And I have tried this already in the ball. I updated the code a bit so that uh, the adjustments were a lot more coarse. Because it was too fine before, and then it was ending up like... Uh, like you had to do like really like really subtle movements to the phone in order to like control it like if you did it too hard it would just like go full speed and like crash and stuff so right now it's like you tilt it forward and it moves tilt it left it's a jittery because uh you know it's trying to keep its position but at the same time this is shaky so like it tries to keep adjusting but when it's floating like this like you can see it'll hold its spot. It won't jitter when it's inside the ball. So, you have to do kind of exaggerated movements for the for the tilting so that, you know, there's more detail. And then there's four speeds, so there's like really slow and then faster, faster again, and then faster. And that's pretty much it. So there's four speeds in both directions, and then yeah, there's just the tilting speed. But yeah, I'm gonna. Oh, uh, I've added right now. There's two sensors. So there's three things on the analog lines. There's a temperature sensor uh, or a thermistor, which I don't really know what I would do with it, but I guess it would be useful. Say if I like leave it in the sun, it'll know it's in the sun or whatever. And then I have uh, just an old um, analog accelerometer, a two-axis X and Y. And then that I'm hopefully going to use uh, to, uh, what's it called, to auto-balance this thing. I have finally wired up the uh, multiplexer for the LEDs if I ever do add any. Uh, I want to add a photo resistor to the analog inputs. So it would know if it's nighttime or not and also the output is wired in finally the external or a uh, high load output um, that's pretty much it it's pretty hard to turn on from when it's inside the ball because you can imagine the ball is like this and then you have to stick a stick inside to turn on the switch but uh, yeah so let's I'll show you how it turns on so I'm gonna Disconnect it. I'm gonna close out the app and turn this off. So if it's like not straight, it'll turn on and then center itself, sort of. And then this it moves this because um, it's calibrated to the phone, the servo uh, from this uh, potentiometer right here. So like it's calibrated to the weird offset that my phone has. And if I connect it, stupid Bluetooth server, okay, connect, and it's connected, and everything stops. Backwards. I haven't needed to charge it, because, you know, that's however many amps, 240A is 16 amps, a little bit more than. These are older cells, so I don't suppose that they each, you know, hold two amps anymore. But it, they just work plenty strong. So that works. I'm going to stick it back in the ball. I'm probably going to maybe program the temperature sensor. Right now, this one, you can turn it on and off, the accelerometer, using those two pins. You just short them with a, a little jumper, uh, whatever the hell those things are called, and it'll turn it on. But right now I just have it off. There's no point in having it on and like sending useless crap to the Arduino. And those are in, but you know, I haven't programmed them yet. I don't know what I would do with them, but you know, they're just there. Maybe for like disco mode or something. I don't know. Or like alert if you like pick it up unexpectedly. That'd be cool. So uh, yeah.